Rashida, you know, looking around at, at the, the cast and the characters, it seems like Anne is the most sane of all of them, the closest to being sane. Is that, do you, you get that sense as well? Well, she just dyed her hair red, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's going through a rough patch right now. Yeah, she goes a through bit of a, a little bit of a patch. rough patch coming up. <laughs> yeah. But do you feel like you're playing sort of the straight man in this? Well, I, you know, I've, I've been asked that before, and I, and I do, and I think the writers did a great job of creating this, you know, stable, sense sensible, logical character, but the fun thing about that is now that that's been established, they can break it all down, which is kind of what's happening. I'm clearly not sane, or else I wouldn't be hanging out with all these people. <laughs> I'm not sane. I also never go to work, and I'm always <laughs> in the hall, so I'm not, like, I'm not normal. I'm definitely not normal. But, Next um, episode, you find out Anne is not a nurse at all. <laughs> I picked up some scrubs. That <laughs> yeah. um, but, I, but I think that it starts to kind of come to a head this year a little bit, um, being broken up with in such a brutal, humiliating way. Um, she kind of is like, all right, what, what's up? What's, let's do this. Let's, I'm going to get into it a little bit. And she, she doesn't go crazy, but she... It's actually, I think it's kind of the opposite. She's, she's so crazy. She's she, just empowered. she just loosens up and like starts up. starts not like being so uh, concerned with everything all the time and has a, she has a little bit of a romp starting in this episode. Yeah. With that guy. And <laughs> Anne turns into a real slut the next. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> real slut. So is Jersey? Is... Okay. Easy. All right. Easy. <laughs> is Jersey Shore dude back? Uh, no, I got, there's so much, there's so many other guys. Okay. You know? I mean, who has time to lock it down with one, you know? Is there a serious long-term love interest for Anne on the horizon? That's not really her main focus right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds like a euphemism, but no, she is, she is kind of a slut. Amy's right. She's, she kind of... She goes on a rum springer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is that, is that a euphemism for something? You'll enjoy no. it along with Anne. You will. <laughs> but w the next couple episodes, let's all live vicariously through Anne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Including Rashida. Uh, Aziz, is there a invention that Tom has uh, come up with that has been your favorite? Um, the, my favorite thing is, is, is uh, a thing that in one of the later episodes, uh, it was uh, that Tom tries to, it's the episode in Tom's story is that he's trying to host a game show that he's created called uh, Know Your Boo, which is like the dating show, exactly like the dating show, but he just called it Know Your Boo. And it was so fun, because I, I just thought that was, the, that was so perfect. That, that guy would think like, oh, of course I can host a game show. <laughs> That'll be easy. And it was so fun to do. I, I think that's probably his, his, oh my, his my favorite thing he he's, he's creates in season three. <laughs> <laughs> also DJ Roomba, yes. <laughs> people, people like always ask me about DJ Roomba, and they always say, they, and uh, invariably they always ask, for real though, you improvise that? It's like there's a thing on the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, for real, you made that up on the spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> what happens when Tom, one of these inventions, actually takes off? Have, have you thought of that? Is that coming? I have questions for Greg and Mike. Um, well, I think what's very appealing about Tom is that he is a big dreamer, and he, there's, a, there's, a, there's no your boo coming up, and he also invents, a, he invents his own kind of liquor called snake juice. <laughs> and he, he tries to get that going. And what's really like appealing about him, I think, is that he's undaunted. Like, in the last episode that aired, like a guy who makes colognes for a living told him that his cologne smelled like someone who spilled Chinese food in a birdcage. <laughs> and he's really bummed for like 20 minutes. And he's like, all right, what's next? You know, like I think that's a very like endearing quality in the character that he just, he just believes that he's destined for bigger things and he's not gonna let anybody slow him down, you know?